When is she gonna tell her dad about this? She's like, we can tell him after. Red flag. Oh, but guess what? I'll grab that red flag. I'll shake it in the air. I'll turn it white. All right, let's see it, dude. Like many others on 90 Day Fiance, Patrick views the red flag not as a sign of danger, but as a challenge. The more red flags there are, the more Patrick charges forward into the unknown. And I'm like, yeah, that, that's that's just not an option. No. No man would like that. Exactly. That's what I've been trying so to tell her. why are you doing it? I'm not doing it. You are. You are. Yeah, yeah. I did. I did. I did. So today we are talking about Patrick and Thais. And unfortunately, I already covered the whole floor steak incident back in my Jabri and Miona video. I wish I had just put that in this one, but I blame that on Jabri and Miona being so boring that I had to include somebody else. Otherwise, people probably would have just not watched it or fallen asleep. The most interesting thing these two have done all season is overcook some frozen chicken or something like that. I swear, at this point, they're just reciting a bunch of 90-day catchphrases and lines that have been said a million times. Jabri is just like, I don't know if this is gonna work out. We have so much to think about. And she's He's like, I don't know if this is going to work out. We have so much to think about. And then Jabri is like, you know what? I'm the one that doesn't know if this is going to work out. How dare you say that you don't know if this is going to work out when I just said, I don't know if this is going to work out. And my parents also don't think this is going to work out. And meanwhile, everything's fine. All right. Anyway, enough with the side missions. Let's get back to the main story. We're talking about Patrick and Thais. You are! And John. Got me a drink? Of course I did. Done so, checking in? Yeah. She checked my location, so she knows where I'm at. Oh, shit. That's not... So this is before Patrick's fiance is even living here. She's in Brazil right now, and she's got his phone tracked. She knows exactly where he is every second of every day. I know this sounds controlling, and it is, but Patrick cheated on her, so now she doesn't trust him, and I guess this is the solution. Everyone knows that trust issues can always be solved with spying and phone tracking and investigating. It says bar. Yeah, it says bar. Oh, so okay. She's not too happy yeah. about it. Yeah, I'm sure. No, but that's how it is. I'm used to it now. Dude, I got the perfect idea. You should just always have a live stream going. That way she knows you're you're behaving. You should just become a Twitch streamer, dude. You could be the next Tommy in it. Let me ask you a question. Okay. When you go out, do you have to have your location on to roam around? No. He does. Just cuts back and he's like hiding under the counter, peeking out to see if she's still looking. John, why are you telling them? You're embarrassing me. I know it's not normal. <laughs> uh, I'm just asking a question. I mean, she's, she lives in another country. Ah. She doesn't know what's happening. So that's why, that's why I give her my location. Yeah, she's from another country. You can't build trust from another country without tracking or chipping or something like that. And believe me, we had that conversation and I did not want to go down that road. I said I would rather be a Twitch streamer than get chipped. As long as you're okay, <laughs> He starts crying. He's like, but I'm not okay with it. I'm the one that came up with it. Cause I was tired of dealing with the, the hypotheticals. You know, like my whole thing was like, well, Here's facts. Damn, Patrick just destroyed his fiance with facts and logic. Oh, you think I'm cheating on you? Boom, phone tracker. Now you, you know for sure I'm not cheating on you. And then she's like, but now I can see you're at a bar and I don't know what you're doing at that bar. So maybe you are cheating on me. And he's like, ah, shit. And now he's also realizing that he can't cheat even when he wants to. So he just did not think this through at all. You put and the you location on yourself? 100%, yeah. What you can kind? always turn it off. No, all... why would you bring it up? Oh, no, 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 don't turn it off. Don't do that. We don't speak about what happens when we turn it off. Because, bro. What the are you talking about? You, you brought being, up the imagine location? Being, imagine being home in bed and then she thinks that you're out at the club. Oh, yeah, that's a good point, dude. I never really thought about it like that. I mean, she could just trust what you say and believe you, but why would she? And then the cameras at the house on the security system. I'd go through the app and show her, like, you know, no one's come to the house. No, you don't. To why? me, because that's why? how important she is to me. I also keep a journal, and I keep track of what I do every 16 seconds. It used to be every minute, but she thought that I might be cheating on her in that very small amount of time I had between the time that I had to just write in my journal, which is the majority of what I was doing all day. What am I doing right now? I'm sitting here writing in my fucking journal, because I can't do anything. If somebody asks you to provide video evidence, you're doing something wrong. Wow, actual words of wisdom spoken by John. So Thais comes to the US, and actually at first there's a lot more drama between her and Patrick's brother John. See the floor steak incident for reference, otherwise we're just gonna move right past that. So she's not here for very long when Patrick and John move to a new house, and she doesn't like the house. Even though it's a nice house, I think she just doesn't like the fact that John is there. Dessa casa, porque eu pedi que já 
fez os planos sem me consultar. Não tô gostando da parte do John tá tomando conta da, do piso inteiro. So yeah, John gets his own floor steak. And I don't think Thais is very happy about this at all. She's like, can't we just move him into the sauna in the garage? He can live out of the sauna. Otherwise, I, I don't agree with any of this. So what do you think of the place? It's good. It's good, no? A little small. Small? Uh, I didn't really mean to say small, more like, please leave this house right now and don't come back. That's my honest opinion of the house. Other than that, I, I like everything. It's it's wonderful. And then John is like, what did you say? Housewarming party? Is that what you said? Yeah, let's do it. I'm down. Let's do it, guys. Você conhece essas pessoas? Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm John. I am freaking out. Especially because we are working on trust in our relationship. So I don't like the idea of random girls running around my house. Oh man, of course John invites a bunch of women over, even after that whole phone tracker conversation. Like, did you really think this was gonna go down well with them? But at the same time, they're planning on getting married and they're in love and all this stuff. So what does it even matter? Like, what do you think is gonna happen if he invites women over? What do you think? Patrick's gonna wait for you to go in the bathroom and then hit on one of them? Maybe, maybe that'll happen. I don't know. Come on, man, you know? They weren't for you. They were for me, Wagner, the rest of the fellas. You know what? You, Wagner, and the boys can take a hike because I'm trying to have some quiet time with my fiance. Can we have some fun? No. All right, thank you for coming, everyone. That was a lot of fun. I'll see you next time. <laughs> What's up, guys? I'm Patrick. Nice to meet you. This is Kayla. This is my fiance, Thais. You could tell that she does not want them here, which makes it especially funny to see her be like, oh, hi, it's so nice to meet you. What's up, guys? I'm Patrick. Nice to meet you. Yo, what's up, guys? I'm Patrick, and this is my fiance, who I'm not going to be cheating on tonight. I'm uncomfortable with these girls coming to the house. Like, really uncomfortable. Like, my heart was pounding. His heart is pounding, and they're all just sitting around on their phones drinking wine. So at one point, Patrick and Thais go in the other room, and they're talking about how this whole situation is weird, and Patrick is saying that he didn't know all these women were going to be showing up, and he's like, babe, you have nothing to worry about. All these women here are ugly. I'm not even kidding. He actually said that, and that made her happier to hear somehow. So what would happen if you didn't think they were ugly? Does that mean you would cheat on her? They have such an immature, insecure relationship to where he needs to put other people down in order to lift her up. So anyway, some time passes, and Thais decides that she wants to buy more decorations decorations and furniture for the house because she didn't really get to have a say in any of it. And then they somehow wind up at the most expensive store in the history of the world where the guy's trying to sell them a $400, $500 pillow. So they argued about a bunch of stuff. Everything she wanted to buy was super expensive and Patrick didn't want to get it. They ended up settling on like a $100 vase and they brought it home and set it down and never talked about it or looked at it ever again. How much money you make? I don't know because you never show me nothing. Never. Yeah, I mean, I make enough. I make enough. And I Some people have speculated that Patrick doesn't make as much as he acts like he does because he won't show or tell Thais exactly how much he makes. All the bills are paid. The lights are on, the refrigerator's full. Right when he says that, the power just goes out. Patrick, the fridge is not full. The only two things in there are beer and steak, and there's one gogurt left. You have all the clothes you want, your nails are done, your eyebrows are done, your eyelashes are done. Like it's everything job, you bro. want, you have, so why does it matter how it happens? Why does it matter how it happens? That is the funniest shit ever. Why does it matter how it happens? What, is he involved in organized crime? To be honest, maybe. I think his brother thinks that he was in The Departed. You know painting on the wall? Go get a painting. Go. Here. Here. You don't understand. You don't Here. understand. Go. Take the card. And I know, I know. Take some cash. He tosses her like two ones and a gum wrapper. <laughs> Here, you want a painting? Take my money. He's just throwing change at her, like nickels and pennies. Take all of it. I don't even care at this point. Except if you don't use it, please bring it back. All right, so the last scene we're gonna look at, John and Patrick are secretly discussing a bachelor party and Thais is listening. They're also talking about the fact that she hasn't told her father that they're getting married yet and she's upset that Patrick told John all of this. I mean, I gotta be honest, bro. I'm oh, just no. worried. <laughs> there she is, she's listening. Watch out, John. Unsurprisingly, John wants a stripper at the bachelor party, but Patrick, he has a very good response to this. The odds of a stripper being hotter than Thais is slim to none. So why would I want something not as hot as something I got in front of me 
That is so incredibly sweet, Patrick. I love you so much. Babe, there are very few strippers out there that are hotter than you. The odds of being able to find one are so low that that is why I will not be having a stripper at my bachelor party. However, if we do happen to find one, will you care if maybe I made a phone call and... Hello. You. What you guys can do is like, you guys can... Just... Really? I was listening. Every... Listen to what? what did I say? John, are you drinking wine out of our brand new vase? And there you have it. That's the story of Patrick and Thais, everybody. There's a lot more to talk about, but those are definitely the best parts. And if you haven't seen it, I would encourage you to go check out the floor steak part of the Jabri and Miona video to complete the whole saga. Anyway, I hope you have all enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. I'm not doing it. You are. You are. Yeah, you're yeah. Just, yeah.